Welcome to Scotty Crafts and Wendy's World. Today I want to talk to you about La Blanche stamps. We've got an amazing range of La Blanche stamps and there's so many techniques you can do with these stamps. The technique that I've chosen to show you today is using white embossing powder. Uh, the card is here, the finished item, and I colour it with alcohol inks. So this technique has to be done on black cardstock. First thing I do is take a little clear image pad which is filled with powder and rub it over my black cardstock. This stops the embossing powder from sticking anywhere but where you put the medium that you want the embossing powder to stick to. I'll just explain these stamps to you as well. They're actually on a foam base and this, the uh, stamp part of them is silicon. So this means you can do all heating techniques with these stamps. They will stand anything that a rubber stamp would withstand. The image is beautifully printed on the right side of the stamp. They're quite deeply etched. I don't know if that's, that's going to get picked up on the camera. So lovely, deep, deep designs. So what I'm going to use is Ranger's Perfect Medium to ink my stamp. This forms the base for my embossing powder to stick to. So just put a nice coating of it all over your stamp. You notice my stamp is very well loved. Line it up on your black cardstock and just press firmly over where the image is shown on the back of the stamp. Then lift off. And now my stamped image is on there. I don't know if the light's picking it up or not. Take your embossing powder. So I'm using uh, the Ranger Seafoam White, but you could also use a pearl colour or a silver, any of those light colours. Sprinkle from the jar over your image. Just make sure that it's well covered and then tap off the excess. Whoops, if you miss a bit, just scoop a little bit more back on. Tap off and replace into the jar with your pre made funnel the excess powder. None of it goes to waste. If it hasn't stuck to your design, it's good to go for the next sample. So once you've done that, take your heat gun and heat from underneath. This will stop the powder from blowing around. And heat your whole image until it goes shiny. Once it's shiny, it means it's actually set on your paper. I'll just get it started at the top so you can see. And I've got a sample that I've pre-done that's already completed. So once you've done it over the whole image, I'm just going to stop there and bring my one forward. Magic of doing it a little earlier. So this one, you can see the whole design is now shiny. So what I'm going to do is take my uh, ink applicator tool and a felt attachment. Take three colours of my alcohol inks. Just put a little spot onto each one. Of each colour, sorry. Doesn't matter what colours you use, it seems like every one of these inks works really well together. The reason you do it on black cardstock is so that when you tap over it with your alcohol ink, it doesn't show up in the background because this is actually a transparent ink. So all it's doing is colouring the white embossing powder. The white or the silver pearl, whichever you choose, or silver. Keep working it until you're satisfied with the colour. You can add more. You can uh, use a blending solution and actually make it lighter if you want it lighter. There's my coloured image. And then add your flowers and your message to complete your card. It's amazing what you can do in such a little time when you know how, Wendy. <laughs> Thank goodness you're teaching us all. Okay, there's one other thing I wanted to show you with these stamps. I'll just move my little sample here. I've actually made my own little stamp catalogue. So what I've done is on the cover technique I've actually used, uh, I think if any of you saw the previous video where we bought the pinky cell out and we were making moulds, I've made my own mould. I've created a little bridge around my stamp using a piece of masking tape. I've mixed my two part pinky cell and poured it into this and let it set and this has created a mould. From that mould I've taken my resin, which also showed in the previous video, and then made up a resin piece, which I've then painted the top half with black gesso, just to show you that you could leave it white or paint it black. And on my book cover, I've then painted with perfect pearls and a water brush. Previ I think we did this previously in the previous video as well. So this is a broader tipped water brush. 
pop it into your perfect pearls and proceed to paint. And well, your, those stamps are quite versatile when you do things like that with them. They are, I love them. Also, um, I've heard a little birdie told me that we've got a whole lot of new ones coming in. So my little stamp catalogue, I've stamped on tissue and just applied it to a text paper. So each, I own each one of these, but guess what? I've heard about the other ones coming, so I've left the backs <laughs> of all my pages for the new designs. Oh, Wendy, we're going to have to double that order again. <laughs> So each of my images, which is another really nice technique to put on a card face as well. I just it rip is. a text page out of a book. Just watch what it says though. Sometimes you can get words on there that you may not want on your card front. You don't want to use 40 shades of grey. <laughs> <laughs> also the little flowers on my book I've painted with the perfect pearls exactly the same way as I did this. Just to make my little album. So on the board here I've also made uh, just a painted sample using the distress markers which I think we've done in a previous video also. And the little uh, poinsettias on there, Adrian, I think you've got to punch that side to show. Yeah, this is the little Martha Stewart um, maple leaf punch. Now it looks like just a little leaf, but as you know, Wendy doesn't do anything ordinary, so she's cut out a whole load of little leaves and made them into poinsettia flowers and, um, and the leaves as well. Just shows you what you can do with that. Now that's on her blog, so if you wanted to know how to make those little poinsettias for your Christmas cards, you could just go onto the blog and have a look at how she's done them. Um, the LeBlanc stamps, the sweet ladies, are on special. Um, we want to be able to clear our wall of all these ones because we're getting a whole load of new ones in. So this week they are on special 30% off. Now our uh, LeBlanc stamps range in price from approximately $7.99 to about $24. Um, so with 30% off, I think we're going to have a real fun with those. And now that Wendy's shown you everything you can do with them, you'll need more than a few. If you get in quickly, because <laughs> Wendy might have taken them by then, although she does own most of them already. <laughs> um, also remember to get your alcohol inks, your perfect medium embossing ink, um, your embossing powder, your little, uh, these little goodies. That's clear image, as That's it's called. It, clear image. Just a little powder filled bag, basically, yep. and it stops powder from clinging to bits that you don't want it to. Okay, and also your heat gun. Don't and forget the heat your gun. heat guns. Um, and it's pink, Adrian. Well, of course it's pink. <laughs> Wherever I can get pink, we buy pink. So there you go, ladies. You have and fun gentlemen. shopping. We have to say oh, and yeah, gentlemen. absolutely. Well, all our Scotty crafters, because we've got quite a few of those. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye. Bye.